FTC Decode is here, and if you're a new robotics team looking at how to improve your Rev Starter Bot, then this video is for you. G'day, I'm Mr. Code, and I've been coaching school robotics teams in local, national, and international events since 2017. This year, our rookie FTC team is 31243 Phoenix Tech, and like many teams, they started off with the quietly amazing Rev Starter Bot. Honestly, I think that Rev has done a fantastic job with this design that focuses on all the essentials and gives a lot of room for ambitious teams to make improvements. Our students have put together 8 improvements to this robot that led them to finish rank 5 out of 28 in their regional tournament, and they've also qualified for the Australian National Championships. Use these tips as a guide to on how you might also think about improving your team's robot, and to be sure to mention our team if you do. Now I spend a lot of time making tutorial videos just like these, so if they help you out in any way, then please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It is your support that lets me continue making robotic videos, so I thank you in advance. Improvement number one is the Mechanum drivetrain. The first improvement we made was to merge the top half of the starter bot with the Rev Mechanum drivetrain version 2. You'll notice that in order to use the Mechanum drivetrain, you will also need the Rev expansion hub. This allows four additional motors to be added to your robot. The Mechanum drive is omnidirectional, meaning that your robot can move in all directions without turning. This is especially helpful for a shooting game like Decode, as it allows you to fine tune your aim with minimal effort. Improvement number two is a ground level intake system. By adding a ground intake, the robot can collect artifacts from the field without heading back to the human loader. This vastly increases the shooting throughput of your robot. The intake we made uses a chain system to drive two sets of rubber rollers. The wider intake at the bottom allows artifacts to in enter easily without too much effort, and the angled extrusions and rubber bands inside the intake funnels the artifacts into our third upgrade, the hopper. The hopper increases the storage capacity of the robot so that it can hold the maximum of three artifacts at once. It is basically a 3D printed rectangular extension above the intake system. By using plastic instead of metal, you can keep the robot's center of mass nice and low. Improvement number four is a 3D printed robot sign and holder designed by Team 2625. This excellent sign holder allows quick changing between red and blue plates that is sturdy and reliable, which is a must for First Tech Challenge. And did you know that FIRST stands for, for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology? It is a global non-for-profit organization that empowers young people to discover their futures through hands-on robotics programs that build skills, confidence, and resilience. Creator Academy has been proud to take part in FIRST programs like FIRST LEGO League, FIRST Tech Challenge, and FIRST Robotics Competition since 2017. But FIRST is more than just robots. Students aged 4 to 18 develop skills in engineering, coding, problem solving, teamwork, and leadership, all while fostering a culture of innovation and collaboration. A huge thank you to First Australia for sponsoring this video by providing the robotics equipment you see here today. Improvement number five is a polycarbonate shooter ramp. This corrugated plastic ramp designed with the starter bot works but could be improved further with smooth polycarbonate. The reduced friction allows for faster and consistent shooting. Improvement number six is a high flow indexer. This simple gate controlled by a servo allows the artifacts inside the hopper to drop quickly into the shooting ramp, reducing the time between shots and increasing your maximum score. The dual motor shooter is our seventh improvement. By linking two motors with a chain, the flywheel can reach maximum speed faster and with less overheating. Finally, with improvement number eight, we have a shooting compression tuner. This unassuming little pillow block placed on the outside of the shooting ramp allows the drive team to easily tune the compression of the shooting ramp, ensuring the consistency of the shooter across multiple games. If you're enjoying this content, then why don't you consider joining my channel membership? 
For the price of lunch, you can get access to hundreds of hours of Python and Scratch coding lesson replays for advanced students. By becoming a member, you also directly contribute to supporting my channel so that I can keep making more robotics content and supporting our robotics community. Become a member today by hitting the join button below. That's it from me today. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.